Okay, creeping forward, creeping forward. Here we go. Here we go. This is your chance. Ooh, we're dead, bro. All right, so today we're gonna try out the new full self-driving beta. Woo! So we got the address in. We're gonna turn this puppy on and we're live. We're going, we're doing it. Oh, all right, let's do it. Let's go. I'm giving it the accelerator pedal and it just freaked out. So, <laughs> not off to a wonderful start yet. All right, so now we're on the road. Got it put in full self-drive. Um, I'm on 2021.44.30.15 and then a bunch of letters, but. One thing about full self-drive beta is it's a lot more demanding of your attention. And now they've got this cavern camera set up and it's like looking at me the whole time that it's driving and it's making sure that my eyes are staying on the road. So if I like uh, look at my phone or I'm like, you know, just like not paying attention to the road, it'll beep at me and be like, pay attention to the road. And if it does that three times, then it'll turn off self-driving. So then you've got to drive yourself like a cape person. This is kind of an interesting intersection right here. This person's trying to turn across traffic, but I had the right of way and it seemed to do fine with that. Um, no big deal. Oof, oof, oof. Woo! That was a bad move right there. It was trying to pull over into that blue car there. No good. No good at all. But to be fair, now we're in the wrong lane. So it was trying to get in the right lane. It was just doing it at the wrong time. It should have gotten over already. So as you can see from the screen, uh, we're going to take a left here. We're going to be kind of off of our course on beta features. I would say we're like 0 for 2. Like coming out of that parking lot was straight trash. Um, and then getting into that right lane was pretty bad, like not good. All right, so it's our turn to go and it's trying to get over into the right lane, which is not legal. I was curious what it would do. It turned on the right turn signal like it was gonna get over and that shit was trash. So now I'm going back into self-drive. It's redone the navigation. It's gonna try to turn right here. I think it's gonna do a good job with this. We got traffic behind us, so let's just hope it does a quick turn. Yeah, that was fine. Totally happy with that. The old version of self-driving would have never done that because it can't navigate on small streets like this. And then it's trying to figure out this like kind of weird curvy road. It thinks it needs to turn to the left at first, but it doesn't. It put its turn signal on and then it like kept going around and now it's right where it's supposed to be. So this is cool. Um, creeping forward to make sure it can see. Oh, there's a car coming. You better not go. You better not go. I don't trust you. I would say that is like a, I think we're like one for four now. That was kind of trash right there. That car coming up, it should have stopped for that. Now it's just got to do a normal right turn at this intersection. Again, good job there. And this is my mom's store on the right. I'm not sure if you can see this right now at the camera angles, but this is the Grumbles house. So pretty good. It got here, no problem. So next let's do navigate to Publix. So I've, I've put it at 10 above the speed limit and it's gonna go around this curve. I'm curious if it slows down for the curve. The curve is a little bit interesting because you can't see who's coming around here. So, woo, just like that. Okay, I did not take over the steering wheel, but I was right there in case it did anything not right. Um, but it did good, it did a good job with that. This is easily the hardest intersection in my hometown. So I, my confidence is so low right now. Um, we got a car turning in from the left up there. We've got cross traffic both ways. Thankfully we don't have anyone behind us right now, but this is definitely the hardest intersection in my hometown. And let's see how it does. Obviously if we get a break in traffic, it's gonna be a lot easier. You can see the blue line here is like spazzing out as it's trying to like predict its route. Um, okay, creeping forward, creeping forward. Here we go, here we go. This is your chance. Ooh, we're dead, bro. Oh, that was so not good. That would have taken us into that car right there. Pretty sure it was still going forward, even though that car was in this lane and it was gonna mow right through us. So that shit was complete trash and we would have died. We would have gotten T-boned, but that's why you gotta pay attention to the self-drive beta 
a few last notes. Um, when I'm driving on the highway, I don't use the full self-driving because it is so demanding of my attention. And on the highway, I have come to completely trust that it's gonna keep me between the lanes and it's gonna keep me from rear-ending anybody. It does fantastic on the highways. I've literally never had a problem. Um, and so what I do is I take it off of full self-drive. I go back to here and I have a phone mode which the phone mode takes the autopilot off of full self-driving and puts it just on navigate on autopilot. And when I do that, it's gonna let me tape over my camera here and still go into um, the non-beta self-driving, which is really cool. It's still early days. Uh, this did a really crap job in this test, but I'm still a big believer of self-driving. And Musk says he'll be shocked if it's not ready this year. Um, I don't know if he'd still be shocked if he just sat in this car with us for that intersection where we almost got T-boned, but nonetheless, um, I, I mean, this car has made so much progress since I had it. It's like learned to do all sorts of things that it couldn't do when I first got it. So I totally think we're going to get there and I'm guessing it's probably going to be this year. Uh, but here's just an update from the ground floor of this version of self-driving. So I hope that was useful. And let me know in the comments what else you want to see about this car because I want to share as much as I can because I think electric cars are super important and cool. And next time, I think I might make a video on full self-drive while playing a little mini guitar and playing you some songs. So we'll see how that goes uh, and catch you later.